Hi there. Thanks for coming to my channel. I'm Elsie and you've come to Ten of Cups Tarot. So thank you for clicking here. If you've been here before, welcome again. And if you have not been here before, welcome for the first time. I hope that you will um, subscribe, share and like um, anything that you watch on this channel. And uh, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, you have reached me today doing your daily grind. And the daily grind is really just energy for the day. Um, there is no specific um, sign that I'm reading for. Um, it's usually good, you know, energies are usually, you know, they're fluid, right? So uh, energies are usually good for a few days or a week. Um, this doesn't have to happen on the day that you see it. <laughs> you know, it could be, it could be in the future. Like I say, it's, it's fluid. So um, I am here to do your daily grind for, <clears throat> for the uh, 7th of January, which is today. And uh, I try and keep these up every day uh, so I can get you guys some energy every day. So I'll, I'll try and do a couple a day so we can keep this up nonetheless. Let's put down some cards for the near past energies. And if this is your reading, it's your reading. And if it's not your reading, it's okay. Don't make it fit. Um, if it resonates, it does. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. There's lots of videos here that you can watch. All right. Got a cut here. Let's see what we've got. All right. All right. First card coming out is the King of Wands. So that's the overall energy for the read. So it's it's all about the King, it looks like. And I'm just going to put down five cards for the near past energy. Let me take a look here. Okay. So what I see here is um, the King of Wands is possibly in love with someone. So this King of Wands, he is a fire sign. So he is Sagittarius, um, Leo, or um, Aries. And he is, um, I'm showing next to him is the love card. So the Two of Cups is love in the Minor Arcana. And um, I do believe that there is also a Page of Cups here. And so the Page of Cups takes in uh, romantic, deep romantic love. And um, the Page uh, love is young. So it could be someone who is younger than you. There could be an age difference. So you're younger than them or they're younger than you. And uh, the Page takes in, um, the Page of Cups takes in sometimes an apology, but um, usually love, usually uh, information about love. Now, Oh, as I look at this, I wonder if it is an apology because it looks like there's some deceit here. There is a Seven of Swords and the Seven of Swords is um, more about, um, it could definitely be that someone is stealing from you. Absolutely. Look at her face, right? She's like, ah, I got your, you got your stuff on my back and I'm out. <laughs> so it definitely could be that it is um, someone who is deceiving you, but it could very well be someone who is just not telling you the whole truth. And that's, that's deception as well. Um, not telling someone the whole truth is deception. Lying is deception. Stealing is deception. So any sort of, um, any sort of um, um, feeling of deception is what this card is all about. Um, I do see that there is a page of wands here. So I'm just wondering if there is someone who is being deceptive about bringing in passion. Um, the page is about young love, um, but so is the page of cups. So I'm wondering if someone um, is, um, is, is trying to deceive the king about love. That's what I'm seeing here um, in the near past energies and seeing that the king is in love. There is deception in love and romance here, in passion and romance. Um, that's what it could be. Let me take a look here. Uh, under, I think that's what it is. Under here, I see the five of, of pentacles, and that's being left out in the cold. So I think that's what it is. I think the king, um, the fire king here, has was in love, and um, someone has deceived him um, in romance and passion romance love and passion there's one five more cards now for the um the current energies two three four and five okay so um in the current energies I see, first of all, the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is all about 
you know, as it says here, you know, the person is bound um, to their thoughts because um, air sign, you know, air, air is about um, the swords or air signs and, and, and swords are all about um, communication and connection. So the they're thinking about things, you know, you're thinking about things that have gone on and you're feeling kind of chained chained to the thoughts so they're playing over and over it's it's very much about overthinking it's very much about um feeling sad and depressed um isn't it like that with most of us though we hit the sheets and put our heads down then all of a sudden you know we're wondering you know how many sheep have to jump the um and the how many sheep have to jump over the fence before we can fall asleep we start wondering if adam had a belly button that kind of thing you know like um your brains go wild but it looks like somebody's feeling really depressed like depressed and full of anxiety about thoughts that they're having regarding i have a feeling it's this king here um regarding being taken for a fool in love um or this this deception this deception here i think um the king has been taken for a fool and is not happy. Um, I do see another page here. So the page of swords is when someone wants to speak with you, that's when the page of swords shows up. And the page of swords is showing up under the love card. So um, the page of swords could be here because the king wishes to speak to someone about about what the deception is that's gone on here. Um, the, um, the nine of swords is all about you know, um, keeping you up at night, not being able to sleep and depression and sadness, um, wants to talk it out, right? Somebody wants to talk it out. And that's what the, um, the page of, Sh of swords is about. The page of swords is also the investigator in the tarot. And, um, sometimes when you can't get your answers from speaking to someone, you'll go and search social media, you'll Google their name, you'll look at their Facebook page, you'll look at their Instagram, that kind of thing to find out what's going on with them. Um, and I see that this is a fast moving energy. So um, this is something that is, is moving really quickly and it is moving quickly toward the world. So, you know, congratulations, <laughs> you've, you've uh, closed a chapter, you've learned a lesson and closed a chapter, but this can also be um, that um, you're done with the relationship. You're done with whoever has deceived you. You've decided to close it and you're done. And um, that would be coming quickly. This is also, you know, cleaning up your karma, right? This is also learning a lesson, learning karmic lessons. You're now back to zero. You're back in the black. And um, there you go. You're off to the races. Um, I don't think you're really stopping to be sad, though, because I see love here. <laughs> and the universe is saying, you know what? Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this closing, bringing this, this um, chapter to a close, because there is still love here. And uh, there is love and it's waiting for you. And under the deck is the magician. So you've probably manifested this love. You've manifested, maybe you manifested the end of this relationship as well. Um, the, um, the page of swords um, is, is a fast moving energy. So either there was a, a chit chat about who who deceived who, <laughs> or um, it, the king is just pushing everything forward and moving really quickly towards the world because, you know, it was just too much. This was too much. It was too much keeping him up at night. Um, too much sadness, too much depression, too much overthinking and worrying, and just decided to bring the chapter to a close. Um, because he knows that there's other love out there for him. That's, it seems like this was really a toxic situation. Um, because when you love somebody, you don't necessarily investigate them. Um, and you shouldn't really have to, if it's a, a functional relationship and it's, it's not toxic. So I'm just going to go into the energies for the future. Okay. So, um, First, I see that there is love. In fact, there is new love. So the Ace of Cups is here. And the Ace of Cups is about, you know, it's about water. It's about um, the um, uh, water signs. It's about Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's new love. And uh, next to this card is justice. So I think that everything has now come back into 
balance, that there has been justice here, and that there will be justice in love. The, um, the justice card shows up when there is an injustice, and um, it also can be about legal stuff. So this could have been a marriage that broke up, it could have been a relation that broke up with splitting of assets and all of that kind of stuff. But this is um, the person, uh, I think it's the King of Wands, he got justice in, in what he wanted because he's just carrying on. He's just carrying on and finding himself new love. Um, he is kind of broken though from this last relationship. So he does have to rest. This is the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is all about rest, repair, rejuvenation, you know, just sitting with yourself in the quiet, um, getting away somewhere by yourself. Um, it's about just not having people, you know, say, say things to you. You just don't need any advice at this point. You just need to rest and relax. But I do see that here is the Eight of Wands. And so the Eight of Wands, again, you know, you hit the ground running. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A fast moving energy after that as well. The King is a fast moving energy, though. He's going to have to be in order to do his job, right? Um, and you see the Emperor underneath the deck here. Uh, I'm going to look for three more cards here. Three more cards for the future. Three more cards. Okay. So I do see um, the Five of Cups here. And so the Five of Cups is about, you know, being sad being um, disappointed, regret, you know, you wished you would have done something differently, something better. It is about, um, it is about, uh, the thing is, it, it, there's the three cups here and the two cups behind her. She is quite upset because she does see the three have spilled out. She isn't noticing the two behind her, which is love. There is love here. Um, there is love here um, still, even though, <laughs> you know, and we know that because we got this card here. There is love here, but, you know, sometimes you just have to go through the motions, right? You just have to go through feeling the feelings in order to get them over with. Uh, the Knight of Passion is here. And so the Knight of Passion comes in quickly and brings in all kinds of passion. But the thing is, is sometimes they don't stay. So um, it could be sadness. Because the king, the, the passion, the, the night of passion didn't stay. And then that caused some heartbreak. So um, could be looking for love. Unfortunately, um, you know, after regret of such, you decided that you needed to mend your heart. Um, the night of passion comes in, does their thing. And then now you've got regret again. You're regretting... Um, you're regretting uh, spending time with the Knight of Passion. There's the Queen of Passion under the deck. Last three cards in this reading. Daily Grind. Last three cards. Oops. So we have a, um, first of all, we have um, King of Cups energy, and then we have the partnership card. So um, the, um, the energy of the King of Cups um, and the partnership. So the King of Cups um, could be uh, looking for partnership within... Um, with the King of Wands and the um, the King of Wands energy. So again, we're not reading gender, we're reading energy. So it's the energy of the King of Wands, the energy of the King of Cups. So whoever carries that energy. Um, and then we have a Knight of Cups here. So the Knight of Cups is bringing in new love, brand new love, um, and um, is looking for a partnership as well. So there could very well be partnership here anyway a new relationship starting even after you know the king of passion has come in i'm sorry the knight of passion has come in and um and left really quickly and you ended up with this broken heart here 
Um, but it looks like there is still some partnership available here. So this could be business. This could be business or this could be love. Um, partnership is what comes after the bloom is off the rose, right? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, after all those, those, those great feelings in the belly and the first kiss are gone. The partnership is the hard work. It's the hard part. So, um, and at the end here, we have victory under the bottom of the deck. So I think that there is going to be victory. I think there is going to be, I think there's someone here who is just done. Someone who is, who has decided that, you know what, I'm not going to sit around and cry about the relationship that didn't work out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some justice. I'm going to repair myself. I'm going to take care of myself. And then I'm going to get back up on the horse. And so what if that relationship doesn't work out? I'm going to get back up on the horse. And I love that because that's what I am. That's who I am. So um, if the relationship doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And that's okay. Take your time to grieve. Take your time to cry. Take your time to have sadness. You know, regret. I mean, everybody has regrets when they let somebody go. Um, but um, I'm, that's what I'm all about, getting back up on the horse. And that's that's what it is. It is what it is. That's my favorite saying. Um, you are going to have victory here. And um, there is a partnership here. So, you know, we all pick our, um, we all, we all pick the way that we need to lead our lives. I am showing that under the deck here that there also is the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. So, um, you know, there's lots of love here for you. You don't need to be in a relationship where you're being deceived in passion and love. You, you just don't need that. So I'm glad to see that whoever this reading is for, that you have decided to just move forward, press forward, and um, just get back up on the horse and uh, head out and do the things that you need to do. All right, so that is your daily grind for the 7th of December, and uh, I hope that you had a wonderful new year. Thanks for watching here today. Bye-bye.